Hello everyone, I'm Thierry Fischer. I am very happy to be in Seoul, to be back and to conduct the wonderful Seoul Philharmonic Orchestra. It's great to see everybody healthy, in a great form. First of all, in the orchestra itself, all the musicians um, really ready for two very contrasted programming weeks. And it's also good to see uh, Seoul, to see this vibrant city I like so much. And I remember after so many concerts, the pleasure it is to perform for this warm audience. The, the two weeks are having quite completely different programs. That was a choice we made together. The first week is more into the 20th century and the second week more in the 19th century. This weekend, the, the first week, I think the idea was to perform French music because for different reasons, SPO did not perform a lot of French music and uh, what a better piece than working with the orchestra on Daphne and Chloe, this very mythic love story is all about symbols, suggestions, and great colorful piece is really a masterworks in the beginning of the 20th century. And strangely enough, I wanted to show some contrast and making the program, we noticed that Daphnis was written in 1911, same year as Firebird by Stravinsky, for example, and also same year as Prokofiev's first piano concerto. And I thought it was really interesting to put the two pieces together written really in the same time and it gives us the possibility to work on different cultures this Slavic Russian culture of a teenager of 20 years old writing a rebellion concerto absolutely radical and straight to the point and the French culture beginning of the modernism everything is suggestion there is no radical statement. Everything we have to guess and go for it. It's like impressionism in painting. You never know the right color and you're always guessing and you are immersed in a world of suggestions. And to start this program, I really wanted to perform a Swiss composer. Michael Jarrell wrote this piece in 2011 so exactly 100 years later than Prokofiev Piano Concerto and Daphne and Chloe by Ravel. And he wrote it for the, um, the Festival de Besançon in France. And it's called Ombre Shadows. And the piece is 11 minutes, so a lot around 11. So these shadows are very imaginative and very poetic. Michael Jarrell always is using the colors of the percussions, all different kinds of percussions and special effects with the bows. And it starts violently, like there's no shadow at all. And then slowly, the more we go toward the piece, the more you see the different world echoing to each other, the woodwinds, the brass, the strings responding to each other, but sometimes they are totally mixed, so you cannot even see. And that's why this shadow symbol around the piece is actually breathtaking and it ends up in resonances between very low notes in the trombones, in the contrabasses, in the tuba and then ending in a world of endless possibilities. For next week the idea was to do something really different than the first week. We wanted to go to Romantism, two different kind of Romantism as well. First Brahms with his first piano concerto, with Francesco Piemontesi. And then I wanted to take the same parallel, I, like Daphnis and Prokofiev, written in the same year. And here, Brahms' first piano concerto, written in 1859, and another kind of Romantism, the French Romantism, with the Saint-Saëns Second Symphony, which was also written the same year as the Brahms Piano Concerto, 1859. And it gives a sort of mirror into the two weeks, like two different cultures writing with the same romantic style, 
but of course in a completely different way because of the culture, of the sense of ethic into expressive ways. But it's very interesting to have the, these two pieces together and you see really you can say, you know, this is coming from the north of Germany and this is coming from the south of France. It's very, very interesting. And to give the sort of frame to the concert, we start this concert with Brahms' tragic symphony. It was written the same time as the Academic Festival Overture by Brahms as well. And <laughs> Brahms liked to say that, oh, it's very simple. One overture is laughing and the other one is crying. So to give some depth and drama in the program, I decided to start with the crying dramatic tragic over to by Brahms and to end with the Brahms piano concerto and in the middle sunshine with French romanticism. I hope you are going to enjoy these concerts as much as we do. <laughs> 